Have you ever observed the hands of a clock? The two hands are at different positions at different points of time as they move along the dial. The two hands represent two rays meeting at a point. When two rays have a common end point, they form an angle. The two rays forming an angle are called the arms of the angle. The common end point is called the vertex of the angle. We measure angles in degrees. To measure an angle, we use an instrument called protractor. It is in the shape of a semicircle. The midpoint of its horizontal edge is called its central point. The angle at the center is divided into 180 equal small divisions. A complete turnaround point is divided into 360 equal parts. Each of these parts is called a degree to be denoted by 1 degree. As you can see, the arms of the angle can take any position. Say 30 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree, 75 degree, 190 degree, 245 degree. Depending on the position of the arms, there are different types of angles. Let's learn about them. An angle whose measure is more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. Acute angle? No, it's acute. Acute angles are smaller than other angles. An acute angle whose measure is 90 degree is called a right angle. All right. Right angles are larger than acute angles. Obtuse angles are bigger than right angles. They measure between 90 degree to 180 degree. What will happen if both the arms of the angle are in an opposite direction? Nothing. There will be no angle. Wrong. This type of angle that measures 180 degree is called a straight angle. Let's move the arm of an angle to more than 180 degree. An angle whose measure is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree is called a reflex angle. Okay. What will happen if both the arms of an angle overlap each other? Zero degree, 360 degree. Yes, both are correct. An angle that measures zero degree is called zero angle. When the arm takes a complete turn, then an angle of measure 360 degree is formed. This type of angle is called a complete angle. Let's have a quick review. Acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle, zero angle, complete angle.